What's up my dudes? I went to VidCon this year. This was my first time going and I had a crazy fun time. I arrived a couple days before VidCon. My first day was very interesting. While we were looking around our Airbnb, we discovered a little black bag behind some books in the family room. And within that bag was a, uh, let's just say something not so family friendly. I think they left it there as like a little prank for us to find. So, uh, GG house owners, GG. Ah, uh, I don't think that was a prank, dude. The following day, James, Adam, and Maz arrived. So we all went to Little Tokyo to meet up with more of our friends. We slurped on ramen, bought some swords, and other nerdy stuff. It was a weed-tastic weekday. And later that night, my friend Dade had the idea to bake Adam a cake for his birthday. Happy birthday, dear Adam. <laughs> Joke's on you, I love chocolate on this <laughs> too. <laughs> Happy birthday, my dude. I hope you like this gift I got you. After that, Adam went to the bathroom to clean up, but while he was in there, he returned the favor and left me a gift. Uri, was it also your birthday? No, he clogged the freaking toilet. There was like no plunger to be seen in the house. People that live here must not like take dumps or something. So, I slapped on some rubber gloves and plunged my arm into the toilet and pulled out a huge wad covered in brown stickiness. Ew. Calm down, it's not poop, it's just the chocolate cake that was all over his face. Well, I hope, because that's what he told me. The next day, most of our group went to Disneyland, and this was like my first time going, so I was, I was pretty excited. But we were stupid and arrived like the middle of the day and barely rode any rides. That, and because the lines were like super long. The Indiana Jones ride, though, was like super sexy. And this one thing happened where... Hey, um, Jordan, you still have like a little bit of chocolate on your shirt from last night. Oh, um, well... <clears throat> This isn't chocolate. You lied to me. Overall, Disney was a great time. And when we got back home, we invited most of our friends to come over, and we played Mafia and a whole bunch of Smash Brothers. It was pretty cool to get together, except for, like, a couple hiccups here and there. The following day, we all went to VidCon to get our badges, and Laddie over here made us some cool art to put over our badges, which was pretty sweet. While we were in line, something crazy happened. <laughs> hmm? Dude, are, are you Rush Lane Vader? Who else would it be, you peasant? Oh. <laughs> so stupid. No, but what really went down was he got excited to see me, but I think I was more excited to see him because I didn't expect to get noticed. I just sit in my room all day and just draw pictures. And he was a pretty cool dude, so it was nice meeting you, um, Death Killer Lion. You're, you're pretty cool. So after that, all my friends and I went to the beach. Sandcastles, volleyball, you name it. Most of the time, I was just floating around in the ocean, freezing my nips off. Everything was going great. Well... Until something touched me. Uh, is that a shark? Wait, wait, is that? Oh my god, it is! Well, hey there, big boy. I bet you're oh, jealous. <laughs> no, not again! Yeah, my hair was seaweed. And we also found this long thing of seaweed and jumped rope with it. Best beach day episode ever. When we were getting ready to leave, I started to panic because I didn't know where my phone was, so I dumped my bag onto the ground, and then I found it right away. Hey, can you hold this for me, dude? So, I hand it over to Moz, and I just turned to a goldfish for like five minutes, just standing there, and not remembering what I did with it. Oh, shoot! Where's my phone? Oh, wait. Moz, you have it, right? Crocky, mate. I don't have it. You put it in your bag, you idiot. <laughs> okay. So, Moz leaves the beach, and I get Adam to call my phone. Uh, what are you doing? Shh, I'm trying to listen. Mm. Oh, look at that, it's my mate Adam. Mm. That's right, he had it the whole time and didn't let anyone know until later at the house. And you called me the idiot. I'm not an idiot, you're an idiot. What do you have to say for yourself, hmm? <coughs> so we went back to the house for spaghetti night. Zelinky was jamming some sweet tunes on the piano. That's when Jaden, Tim Tom, Anti Dark Art, and my soulmate came over. Finally, I got the lock eyes with this hunk of man. Hey, Pivot, it's nice to see you, my dude. <sighs> <sighs> you smell different when you're awake. 
Now it's the official day of VidCon. And around lunchtime, Alice Clark invited me and a whole bunch of animators for some spaghetti. Also, Moz was very confused on what American lemonade was. Apparently, they call it Sprite in Australia, which is like kind of weird. I even got to do my smushy voice for sugar in person. <coughs> Overall, that was a pretty cool lunch, so thank you, Alex. I, I really appreciate it, my dude. And we ended our night by going to the Dodie Clark concert. My friend Rachel was shedding tears of joy. Senpai! On the second day of VidCon, I went to the Odd Ones Out booth to get my free shirts that I designed. Did you guys know I also designed my own merch? You guys should go check it out. It, it smells really good. Okay, thank you. After that, we all went to breakfast, and I noticed that Jordan ordered the same thing as me. <gasps> it was meant to be. Later that day, we had the animator meetup to go to. So we were just chilling since it didn't start for like another two hours. But then I get a text from Lauren saying that people are already lining up. So I dashed straight up there to get a spot before it was too late. There was like a thousand people waiting in line. It was absolutely insane. And meeting all you guys was also pretty cool. Unfortunately, though, we started hours earlier and we still couldn't get everyone in line. So if you were one of those people, I'm very sorry. I would have stayed longer if needed, but the security was like, no, you guys gotta get out of here. So we got escorted through the back of the hallways where the feature creators were roaming around. Overall, I just had a great experience with that, and I just can't wait to do that again. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. We also got some flipping pizza afterwards, so like, yum! And later during the night, our friend Alex Animation Corner came over for a bit, so that was pretty cool. On the third day at VidCon, we went to IHOP, IHOB, for lunch. While we were eating, we get a text from our friend saying that people are already lined up for the animation Q&A with James, Jaden, and Domix. Three hours ahead of time. There was no way we were gonna get in. We lost all hope right then and there. But a few minutes later, we find out that Eagle Raptor from Game Grumps is at VidCon and is eager to meet animators. So we scarfed down our food, gave our mind to guy who offers stay behind, and we all sprinted towards the convention center. We met up with more of our friends, and we all split up the hunt for this majestic man. After 30 minutes of frantically searching, a couple of our friends tracked him down. They succeed to stall him by taking lots of pictures. And finally, I got to meet Aaron, one of my biggest inspirations. But he was in a hurry, so before leaving, Brent took a group photo of all of us. I messaged James right away to ask ask if he can get that photo from them. And as Aaron left, Tim Tom comes sneaking by. He tells us he got security to save some seats for animators for the animation Q&A. We just gotta sneak him past some fans to get in there, which was kinda hard since Gumby over here sticks out like a giant green thumb. But everything went pretty smooth and some of us got in. Sadly, some of our friends who didn't animate couldn't get in. Except for our friend Demon who just comes walking in. Like, what the heck man, you're not an animator. When we went in, the makeup artist panel was still going on. And the room was like so packed. So when the girls said goodbye to the audience, everyone in the back row got up and raced to get a front seat. Hey man, that was that was a pretty cool panel, am I right? So uh you you gonna move or not? I've been sitting here for hours. I felt bad for those girls on the panel. They thought all those kids were there to see them, but they were just sitting there all day, panel after panel, just for the animation panel. Like, people shouldn't be able to do that. There's like a giant line outside. You know what I'm saying, VidCon? Oh, and the animation panel got pretty crazy. The hundreds of people outside started to turn into a mob and tried to push themselves in and yelling for their money back. My one friend said they saw a parent bribe a security guard to get in. Hopefully next year they'll, they'll get a bigger room. Later that night, we all went to do karaoke. It was a blast. Also, Aaron tweeted out the photo of all of us and tagged us. I was surprised, like, expecting them to send a photo to James to send to me. And Demon over here got lucky again. He has Aaron following him on Twitter as well. Like, what the heck, man? That's crazy. Like, stop following us. We know you're there. The next day, we went to the Cheesecake Factory. This cake was no toilet cake. It was the cake of the gods. Here, Adam, I got you a special slice. <laughs> Hope. Mm. <laughs> ha! Payback's a bit. It was the last day. Sadly, I had to say goodbye to all my friends, and I went on my way. No lie, I kind of got teary-eyed leaving the house. I just wish I had more time to spend with them, you know? And while I was at the airport, someone creeped on me and took a photo of me while I was eating my McGriddle. Which was kind of weird, but you could have came over and I would have gave you my hash brown that I... I don't like those. No, not at all. You can, you can have it. Here you go. Take it. Overall, VidCon itself was 
eh, it was okay. But the real reason why I went was to spend time with all my friends. Going to places like the beach, Little Tokyo, and all that fun stuff. Even though I didn't get to spend a lot of time with everyone, it still was a blast. As well as meeting all you guys. The pictures, the art, just warms my cold, dead heart. So yeah, I love you guys. You guys are pretty cool. But you know what also is pretty cool? My sick, nasty merchandise. That's right, I created some more designs for the store. And some hats and beanies will be coming as well very soon. So if you guys can go check those out, I would really appreciate it. And thank you guys for your support. And with that, peace out, you sexy people! Uh